One area that is different than it was 30 days ago, for sure, is retail. So if you had a brick and mortar store, and that was primarily how you had you know, your customers come in, obviously you can't have them come in, right? So that's changed. I've seen a couple of different avenues where if you have a brick and mortar spot, um, I'm talking smaller businesses, you know, what they've shifted is having individual meetings. You know, we work with a lot of custom um, shops and they do you know, pretty much everything is built right to that person. So it doesn't matter whether it's clothing or other things, what they're doing is doing a lot of things virtually. Um, so they're showing people how to measure, you know, and they're walking them through, you know, through um, FaceTime or through a, another type of video app. And they're walking them through that way. The other thing is, is they shifted so that people, they can take online orders. Majority of them had that, but some of the custom areas that we work in, they were really old school type places where you come in, you might have a cup of coffee or you know, your favorite alcoholic beverage and get measured for suits and other things like that. So they've all shifted into this virtual world. But the big thing that they forgot was how do you take payment online? So retail shifted that way. You know, that's one side of it for the old school type brick and mortar places. E-commerce in retail has been booming. Um, there's been some shifts in types of traffic and the types of purchases, but people are sitting around and they have this urge to buy things and that has worked out very well for them that were positioned before then. They've had to make some changes. Some of our clients um, have been uh, selling masks both in quantity um, and quality uh, out through different an uh, avenues just in bulk. The difference is, is advertising for masks online is not prohibited right now. So you have to be cautious about how you're positioning everything. But overall, we've seen our e-commerce clients spend more money um, now because they're getting more traffic, they're getting more conversions. I'll give you one example. We have a, a hat company. They do those straw hats that you see at like country music festivals and things like that. They went from a big event-based thing where they go to all these festivals and things like that, and we're moving them online over the course of the year. And what they're seeing, they were seeing great results you know, in February and early part of March, but they've seen a huge spike because people are realizing like, what gives them a little bit of comfort is thinking about going to these events. So we had to cancel all the events, but then we just shifted those things to the people that were going to attend those events and target them a little bit differently. And now they're seeing a huge spike in sales where they're almost reaching the numbers in sales online that they do for the events. And they're super excited for that. Now, nothing that works right now might be the same in a week or two, which is why it's important to always have a strategy wrapped around it in retail, because you're gonna see lots of spikes as people continue to be um, unemployed potentially longer, you know, spending is gonna dry up a little bit. But for the most part at the moment, things are moving pretty good. Um, you just have to be in the game and have to have it set up so it's strategically placed. You can't just fly by night and just throw up an ad and say, hey, I'm selling this t-shirt based on whatever. That's probably not gonna work for you, but you need to make sure that it's structured properly so that you can shift at a moment's notice. But we're seeing some good things in retail and a shift in just fundamentally how people are doing businesses if they, or business if they had a brick and mortar store. One tactic for retail, if you're sitting there trying to go, well, I don't have a huge budget, I don't have this, I think is really starting to implement some of the live features, um, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and talk to people about your products. You know, you can sit there and say, hey, we have this here, and this is something that, you know, reason we sell this is this, you know, and talk to them about it. People are looking for things to do, so you have a captive audience. So if you get on a schedule and start to put things out there on a very regular basis, um, say, hey, every morning at 11 a.m., Monday through Friday, we're going to be on here talking about the products that we sell and why we sell them. And they don't have to be super long. They can be 10, 15 minutes. They can even be shorter than that, just where you're talking to them one-on-one -on -one and getting that out there. Just make sure you save that content so that you can you know, post it in other places. That's one thing that you can do. Um, Budget-wise, if you're spending and you're doing online sales, I can't stress this enough, is you have to have a strategy around it and you have to monitor it. And it is confusing right now. Um, and the reason is, is in the morning you might see, you know, a spike in traffic but no conversions. In the afternoon you might see lower traffic but a bunch of conversions and nothing really meshes up. 
That's because the tools are overloaded. So you have to take that in there. And if you're unfamiliar with it and you're not really comfortable doing it, it can be pretty scary, especially when you're seeing dollars go out the door and not dollars come back in. So make sure that you just have you know somebody on your team that's trusted, that knows what they're doing and has been around because you can lose your shirt in a heartbeat right now. But the other side of if you're doing ads online is look into other ad networks. There's tons of other stuff out there other than just Facebook, Google, Google, Instagram. You still want to post content on all those places. But in terms of advertising, there's other channels that you can take a look at that can actually work better now than they have in the past.